Have you ever thought why do you gain so much weight during pregnancy when your baby is just a few kgs? Just a fraction of that. So how much weight should you actually gain? How many calories, extra calories do you actually need? What exactly should you eat during pregnancy? All these questions will be answered today in this video. So hi everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. We are starting a series on pregnancy and we are going to discuss a lot of topics on this pregnancy in the upcoming series. So keep following this. So mark this channel and subscribe the playlist because this series is going to be so very important for all those ladies who are pregnant or who want to be pregnant. The same series will also be available in Hindi. So don't go anywhere. Let's start with our first episode. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. Guys, eating well during pregnancy is not just about eating more. It's more about what you eat. That's the most important thing. All you need is about 340 to 450 extra calories per day. And this also in the later part of your pregnancies when your baby is growing quickly. This isn't a lot. Just a cup of cereals or some extra milk will get you there quickly. But it is very important to make sure that all the calories you eat come from nutritious food. That will help you and your baby's growth and development. So today we are going to discuss all these things. So before discussing what kind of foods and how much, what kind of nutrition are needed and what purpose they for solve during your pregnancy, let's discuss about your weight, weight gain. Do you wonder how it's reasonable to gain 25 to 30 pounds of weight? 10 to 15 kilograms of weight during pregnancy when a newborn baby weighs just a fraction of that, just a few kgs. Although the weight gain varies from woman to woman, this is how the pounds add up. 7.5 pounds is the actual average baby's weight. 7 pounds extra stored protein fats and other nutrients all other nutrients everything you eat is stored only seven pounds four pounds of extra blood four pounds of extra body fluids two pounds breast enlargement two pounds enlargement of your uterus two pounds amniotic fluid which surrounds your baby inside the uterus and 1.5 pound the placenta which is there inside the uterus which is basically supplying all the nutrients to your baby so that's how the pound distribution is there that's why you gain so much of weight so according to this distribution some things are very easily deduced so when you will deliver the baby you will also deliver the placenta you will also release all the amniotic fluid and obviously the baby is also coming out so 7.5 2 and 1.5 so on an average 11 pounds of weight you will lose immediately when you deliver of course the pattern of weight gain during pregnancy varies it's normal to gain less if you start out heavier and more if you are having twins or triplets or if you were underweight before becoming pregnant, you will gain much more weight. But more important than how much weight you gain is what makes up those extra pounds. So when you are pregnant, what you eat and drink is the main source of nourishment for your baby. In fact, the link between what you consume and the health of your baby is much stronger than one's thought. That's why all the doctors now say that no amount of alcohol 
consumption should be considered safe during pregnancy you should never even touch alcohol if you are even planning to get pregnant because that affects badly to you as well as your baby now the extra food you eat shouldn't just be empty calories it should provide the necessary nutrients for your growing baby's needs for example calcium calcium helps in making and keeping the bones and teeth strong and healthy so when you are pregnant you still need the normal amount of calcium for your body plus extra calcium is needed for your developing baby similarly you require more of all the essential nutrients that you did before you became pregnant now let's discuss the nutrition requirements for expectant moms a healthy diet includes protein carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals and plenty of water eating a variety of foods in the proper proportion indicates a good step towards staying healthy now you must also give some importance to food labels food labels can tell you what kind of nutrients are there in the food you eat the letters r d a means recommended dietary allowance which you will find on food labels it's basically the amount of nutrient recommended for your daily diet when you're pregnant the rda of most nutrients become more higher so here are some of the most common nutrients you need and the food that contain them first is proteins protein is obviously required for the cell growth and development blood production of your baby and it is best present in lean meat fish poultry egg white beans peanuts and tofu then carbohydrates obviously all your daily energy production is by carbohydrates so you need to eat bread cereals rice potato pasta fruits vegetables all of them in a moderate low in a moderate amount don't cut carbs do not cut carbs during pregnancy it's not advisable don't do any kind of diets during pregnancy it's not advisable third is calcium strong bones and teeth muscle contractions and nerve functions all depend on calcium calcium is more in milk cheese yogurt sardines salmon spinach all these things are high in calcium then iron iron is very important from indian point of view because many women in india are already anemic they already have iron deficiency iron is very 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 much required for your red blood cell production and you need to avoid anemia because you will lose some blood during delivery and that can lead to a serious and red blood cells are the basic cells which carry oxygen to every cell in your body to all the organs so if you have less red blood cells less oxygen will go there that's not good so iron is required iron is present in lean meat lean red meat spinach iron fortified whole grain breads and cereals you can look for the labels which say that it's fortified with iron and vitamins then vitamins vitamin a a is required for healthy skin good eyesight growing bones for you and your baby vitamin a is vitamin a is more in carrots in dark leafy green vegetables sweet potatoes then vitamin c vitamin c is for your gums your teeth your bone they also are very important for iron absorption if you don't eat vitamin c all your iron will go to waste they will not get absorbed so vitamin c and iron needs to go hand in hand so vitamin c is obviously more in all citrus fruits all oranges all lemons broccoli tomatoes and fortified fruit juices then vitamin b vitamin b there are two main vitamins which you need vitamin b6 and vitamin b12 vitamin b6 is required for your red blood cell formation and it is required for the metabolism of your fats proteins and carbohydrates and you can get vitamin b6 from pork ham whole grains cereals bananas bananas are good in vitamin b6 then vitamin b12 b12 is actually very important 
especially for vegetarians because it's mostly found in non-veg foods and b12 is required for the formations of red blood cells and maintenance and formation of your nervous system your nervous system your brain your spinal cord your nerves your and your baby's nerves it's very important for that b12 and folic acid is required for that so b12 is more in fish in meat poultry milk please note if you are a vegetarian and you if you don't eat dairy on eggs or milk you will need a b12 supplement then folic acid folic acid is also very important for your blood for protein production for effective for effective enzyme function as well as your neural baby's neural development folic acid is more in green leafy vegetables dark yellow fruits and vegetables which are dark yellow then beans peanuts nuts peas so folic acid in b12 is very important then vitamin d vitamin d of course everybody knows it's good for bones bones and teeth vitamin d is very important for the absorption of calcium if you are deficient in vitamin d any amount of calcium you are taking is going to waste right most of them at least so how can you get more vitamin d vitamin d is more in fortified milk in dairy in cereals and breads so and times your doctor will also suggest vitamin d supplements take them then lastly fats yes you do need fats but you don't need a lot of them like people who encourage like indians take i have seen indians especially our elders they suggest that you take a lot of ghee makkhan malai fats etc because they think that they provide the best energy and you need a lot of energy so guys fat is obviously a body and obviously the energy stores of your body but they are not required in too much amount remember you only required 340 to 450 calories extra per day so a little amount of fat extra is okay so what are fats present in meats whole milk dairy products then nuts peanut butter vegetable oils margarine right like i said like i said limit your fat intake to 30% or less of your total daily calorie intake that's very important so guys lastly i want to make a couple of notes here like i already said about folic acid if you are actually thinking of getting pregnant so it has been seen during research that even before getting pregnant if you actually take folic acid supplements calcium supplements especially folic acid it helps prevent neural tube defects including spina bifida during the earlier stage of fetal development because when you get pregnant the initial 4 to 6 weeks you don't even know about it because unless and until you miss your period only then you'll go for a pregnancy test until that time four weeks four to five weeks are already gone and then and then after doing the pregnancy test you start taking supplements folic acid iron etc but that four five weeks are also very important and that is the actual time where the neural tube develops the basic structure baseline structure of your baby's brain develops and that's why folic acid is so important to take even before you get pregnant especially during these early weeks of your pregnancy where you don't even know that you're pregnant so that's why we encourage women to take folic acid supplements before and throughout the pregnancy especially for the first 28 days like i said first 28 days are the neural tube development phase so be sure to ask your doctor about folic acid supplements if you are considering to become pregnant soon two more points here if you are lactose intolerant or you dislike milk and you don't like milk because milk is one of the most important foods which contain a lot of proteins calcium especially calcium so in this case if you are lactose intolerant you need to take a calcium supplement you will have to take a calcium supplement so don't worry about it but you can include other calcium rich foods like uh, tofu broccoli spinach or calcium fortified juices and foods in your diet then if you are a strict vegan although 
doctors don't usually recommend starting a strict vegan diet when you are pregnant however if you are already vegan or you follow a vegetarian diet you can continue to do so during pregnancy but you need to be careful and you need to know some points be sure your doctor knows about your diet and it's challenging to get the nutrients you need if you don't eat fish and chicken milk cheese and eggs but you can do it with a little bit of supplements you'll need supplemental vitamin b12 you'll need supplement vitamin d calcium iron folic acid and omega 3s i'm going to make a different video separate video about vegetarian diet how to be healthy during pregnancy on a vegetarian diet so keep following my channel for that video so guys that's all for this video today i hope you like the video so if you did don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and share this video to every single woman you know because they will share it forward and it will be helpful to some woman who is going to be pregnant or is pregnant and keep following my channel for other videos to come in this pregnancy series apart from that as you know i have a lot of videos on my channel about various healthcare topics all of them simplified and explained with the most latest and updated knowledge from us national medical library so don't hesitate to go and search for your favorite healthcare topic and know about them and then lastly those who don't know me i am dr paramjeet a physician and cardiologist in Yashoda Super Speciality Hospital in Hyderabad Delhi NCR and you can consult me online as well so guys till next time stay connected stay healthy